How's it going, everybody? Uh, can you hear me? Yep, we're good. Okay, good. <laughs> we there, did good. something right. <laughs> yeah, we figured it out. Me and Corpse dabbled around. We tried this, and then my internet went out about five minutes oh. in. So, <laughs> so cool. the inaugural, hope, hopefully it lasts this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so very informal and i plan to sure. you know do some editing and put it on youtube and just two guys hanging out and whatever <laughs> happens happens you know but sounds uh, good i've been a fan of been a fan of yours and oh, like what you're doing on the channel thanks and uh awesome game awesome community here yeah, yeah it really is so we'll just do a little get to know you you know very informal all right um I tell you something I'm curious about, and others probably. Uh, sure, Coach Nado, where's the where's the name come from? And you know, you don't have to like <laughs> get super personal or anything because we we have private lives that we want to keep. Yeah, so just no, as I've much been, as you're uh, willing to share, you know, I've been a really coach. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was a football coach for 16 years. This is the first fall since 2006. Yeah. Food, First fall since 2006, I didn't coach. So I, I, I started coaching. I kind of got, I did this later in life. Um, I always wanted to teach and coach. Um, but I kind of zigzagged in my career. I was a graphic designer for a long time, which I oh, nice. I liked. And I think you could probably see that from um, some of the stuff I've done on my page and that yeah. and my, my interfaces and stuff, overlays and all that. I designed all that stuff myself. So, um, and I did all that with an associate's degree. Uh, anyway, I, I got married in 2005 and, uh, long story short, I just really was talking and praying and talking to my wife and praying about it. And I told her, you know, I really always wanted to teach and coach. So while I was going back to get my bachelor's, I, I coached Pop Warner and volunteered at a local high school, finished up my degree and have been coaching. I was coaching ever since. And this past year, my one of my very good friends was the head coach at my school. He resigned, and I, and I said, I think I'm going to take one year off um, just to see how it feels, which is why I was able to actually set a streaming schedule. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, you're, yeah. you're so busy. You know, I know you've worked in sports a lot, too. You're yeah. so busy that you just can't commit to anything. So, so yeah, really and I loved it yeah. while I did it. I loved coaching, um, but I'm really enjoying the break right now. Well, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I've coached. I've coached everything but football. <laughs> I've not coached football. Oh, okay. My son's playing football this year for the first year, and and we're getting into football now. And I'm looking forward to Sunday. Who you got? Who you got? Bengals or or Rams? Uh, <clears throat> I would say it look looks like the Rams to me. They look like they have an edge, but yeah, I don't yeah, watch much um, football to be honest with you. I love college. Oh, I'm me too. College football me too. Really yeah. Um, really, I start watching pro during the playoffs. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because you know, I'm I'm college all the way. Yeah. College football, college basketball. That's that's my jam. You know. Yeah. Even the NBA, I really don't watch NBA until playoffs. Nah. Start. But I'll watch. I'll, I'll watch March Madness. Yeah. Oh, listen. The first two days of March Madness. Well, you're from I've Kentucky. Already, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I've already got. Uh, plans to take off work for the first two days of March. Yeah. Friday. And it's not just because of Kentucky. They probably won't even be playing, you know, yeah. you know, during work. They'll yeah. get prime time, you know. But yeah. uh but I as soon as it as soon as it, the balls are tipped, I'm watching every channel. Rooting for that yeah. underdog, baby. <laughs> Rooting for that underdog. That's I awesome. love it. Um so you play other games other than Call of the Wild. I do. I um but I'll I'll tell you since I got this game uh in, over the summer, uh, when I'm playing another game, I'm mostly dabbling. I've got I've got um, five really tight friends, get kids, guys that I grew up with. You know, we went to high school together. In some cases, our parents and our grandparents went to school together, so we're like, you know, generations deep as far as how long our families have known each other. But we're spread out all over the country now, but we still get together about. About once every week, I want, or once every two weeks, and we play something. And we love playing um, games where you're co-oping against computer opponents. Yeah, like games like the Division, the Division Two, 
we played through all of Ghost Recon Wildlands, which is a great game. And currently we've gotten back to, because they just came out with an expansion, we're playing uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Yeah. And then I've got a I've got a Nintendo Switch that I've been messing around with too, and I really like some of the, the new Nintendo games are a lot of fun. But I just I love yeah. these sandbox type games. And what I love about Call of the Wild is if you've got 15 minutes, you can jump in and do something really fun and yeah. feel like you accomplished something. If you've got four hours, you can fill it up. You know, and there's just a billion different things to do. Like, uh today let me grab the long bone. Let me go see if I can get an elk. You know? Yes. <laughs> you know, I, know. I mean I just love when the you variety get bored, of right. Yeah. Challenge yourself in another way. Yeah. Yeah. Um so yeah, I know what you mean by dabbling. I'm dabbling with classic a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my friends, my coworkers and friends are trying to get me back into Halo because that was my first love. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Halo Infinite that's out right I've now. I bought it for my son. Player is great. Yeah, yeah. I, I bought it for my son, and uh, we game share. You know, where he yeah. sets my my Xbox to his home, and I set his to mine, and okay. so whatever game we get, you know, we both get. Okay. So uh, he's got it, and he loves it, and I've always <laughs> liked the Halos, but. I prefer shooting things that don't shoot back now. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so with Call of the Wild, uh, what's your what's your favorite trophy you've gotten? Well, it's my great one. It was it's my great one because I just I loved the whole process of learning how to set up properly, find all the zones. <clears throat> and then we got them on the stream. It was actually a day I wasn't supposed to be streaming. I just woke oh. up on a Saturday and decided, well, let me just stream for a little bit. And he showed up <laughs> and there was just a handful of people that normally, you know, come by the channel were in there. And it was the people that have basically watched me grind for most of it. And so, yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. yeah it's always rewarding when you, when your work pays off live yeah. during the stream, you know? Yeah. Um, I tell you, I've got, I know of 10 plus hours right now, still kind of setting up. I've got two tents and I'm going to go live here at uh, five. So well, we've got a little time, but uh, I have been setting up grinding. You know how much water is on Leighton Lakes. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. And I'm well over 10 hours and I got to the point to where I considered hopping on a four wheeler. I didn't. But I thought about hopping on a four wheeler and just looking for tracks and just to speed up right, the time because right. it's, geez. And I tell you what's in the back of my mind. I did this with uh, scrub hair on uh, Africa. Same okay. deal. A lot of time setting up. And then the very first lake when I decided, okay, it's time to hunt. The very first lake I went to, diamond scrub hair. So <laughs> all that work and that prep was just erased in that one uh, moment. I was like, oh. <laughs> Man, it's bittersweet, you know, and I, I kind of want to kill some blacktail. I don't want to just go out first place and kill a, a right, diamond right. blacktail, you know. Right. Um, so what's on your list now? Have you got a red deer great one yet? I don't. I'm, I, <clears throat> I'm back on the whitetail grind. I really want another one. I actually really want to get three. I'm yeah. set up on Quattro Kalinas. Um for red deer and i've done a few cycles there quite a few actually but my desire to get another white tail is outweighing my desire to get the red deer right now so well i mean that's the beauty of the game everybody's yeah. you know after different things and yeah. like ladies ladies hunting red deer again you know I yeah mean, yeah it's <laughs> like for me i'm more of a I just I'm a list maker by heart like even every day at work I go in I make a list everything I got to get done right. and I've even done it with this game I list all the animals okay I got this one <laughs> check 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 and yeah. now it's like I've got all the diamonds but I've got some of them on Xbox some of them on PC okay. so now I gotta get them all I gotta get them all on PC now okay so I, there's my list now so the black tail it is for now cool yeah. so what was your first diamond you ever got uh, turkey. turkey completely by accident. I was just running around, I was just running around uh Silver Ridge Peaks, yeah, and just heard one cluck turn. I could see it, I shot it, ran over, picked it up. I was like, Oh, that's a diamond! <laughs> <laughs> and then I kind of oh. did a grind for 
muleys on on Rancho. I I picked that one spot, you know, that little lake in the way upper right hand corner. Yeah, a little tiny lake where just like fifty mule deer keep coming in. Yeah. So every day, like every actual day in real life day, I would jump over to that spot four, five, six times and kill the two biggest muleys that were in there. Yeah. And eventually a diamond showed up and that was on stream too. So that was kind of cool. Well, I'll tell you what happened to me with the mule deer. Actually, I, I've nodded my head like I knew what you are talking about, that top right lake. The same one that's good for whitetail, right? Yeah. Uh, those no, no, no. On Actually, no oh, whitetail. The one to, on to the right of it. Yeah. I bet you're talking it's about. like really yeah, remote. It's like down in like a kind of a crack canyon. Real small. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the one that I got it mixed up with, the top right one for whitetail. Right, um, right, right. Yeah, I would. That's that's the one I was thinking of. But I got my mule deer on Diamond Road, you know, that southern road. Oh, okay. just walking through there. And I think I just shot a turkey actually and was going to pick it up and looked over and saw him laying there. Uh, oh. And and so I never really white to or mule deer drink time hunted them on Rancho. Oh, okay. You know, I just kind of got lucky and got one. And yeah. so I never felt the need to. But that's what I'm having fun with this time since I've switched to PC. Um, I got lucky on certain animals on Xbox the first time around and didn't have to grind for them. You know, the ones that right. you just accidentally see. Now right. I'm getting to hunt those. And and so it's a different experience getting to grind for an animal I didn't get a grind for before. Like the blacktail. I killed two blacktail diamonds. Those are my first two diamonds. I killed them both on the same day. They were just initial spawns. Holy so God. I never had to, I never had uh, to drink time hunt blacktail, you know, gotcha. I'm looking forward to it, you know. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, do you hunt in real life? I did. I mean, I'm from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Um, yeah. So we hunted, you know, roughed grouse. We, we call them partridge, but it's a grouse. And uh, di I did deer hunt with a rifle and a bow until basically I graduated from high school and I went, went away to college. And then I've never been up there during a deer season again. So I loved it. I loved being out in the woods. I loved the whole... I don't know. I don't know if it's like this in Kentucky, but the first day of rifle season, rifle wow. deer season in in Michigan, at least in Upper Michigan, all the school districts made it a school holiday. Oh, because so many that would be sweet. So many teachers called in sick. <laughs> yeah, that they just said it's, it's just it's less expensive to just make it a holiday. Well, listen, I I, I can kind of relate. What I I uh, volunteer to keep the clock for our home basketball games um and i'm doing district tournament this year so i'm gonna be pretty busy during that week but anyway um our meet the whatever logo i won't, I won't mention our school's logo or anything but right. uh, we have this this night where we introduce the players you know just a fun night parents come out and grandparents and everybody and cheerleaders hype it all up and all that stuff right. and just introducing like a blue white game like you know yeah, yeah, and all that stuff, and you know the coaches were like, "You're going to be there. You're going to be there." And I was like, "No." And he's, he's like, "Why not?" And I said, "Because it's Friday night. I'll be at my hunting cabin, and I'll get up <laughs> at daylight." I yeah. said, "You all are doing this." I said, uh, "You're knocking all your boys out of deer hunting here." I said, "You've got and some I know girls too that yeah in, in high school there that go hunting too yeah." And I said, "They can't hunt because you guys are doing this now." I said, "You guys really need to circle this date." you know, on your calendar, uh, yeah. I said, if you need me to run clock and it's the night before deer season, it ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I look forward to that every year. You know? Yeah. <laughs> um, but unfortunately we don't call off for that. Yeah. You know, wish we did. But <laughs> I always take a few, you know, a few times. Yeah. Um, and tell us a little bit about this Dungeons and Dragons stuff again. Well, um, the guys I was telling you about, you know, my best, best buddies that were kind of spread out all over the country, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, we played in middle school and high school and we loved it, you know, I did too. and, yeah. and we just weren't able, we just haven't been able to play cause we don't live close to each other, but now with all this technology and they've got, um, you know, basically a, a website that you can use for free. Uh, you know, you have to buy the adventures if you buy an adventure. Um, yeah. but it's, it has audio and video built into it. 
you can all log in and see each other and sit right there and, and play it like you were basically almost like you're in person. So I kind of talked the guys into doing it about four years ago. I'm like, come on, let's just let's just give this a shot. And a couple of them were kind of skeptical. They're like, oh, is this really going to be worth it? Is it going to be any fun? And I was I volunteered to run the game, you know, be the game master. And so I yeah. really got into it. I taught them how to I sent them videos on how to make their account and, you know, log into the software. It's all really simple. And then I ran a game um, that was primarily a lot of character interaction where they were interacting with different characters. And I did voices and stuff. I tried just tried to make it a real hoot. And we had so much fun. And I mean, I've got video clips of us just laughing until we're crying. That's we had awesome. so much fun that we just kept on doing it for the last four years. And now each of us has had a turn at being the game master. So like right now I'm a player and one of the other guys is running the game. And we're playing yeah. about once a week and we stream it over on YouTube. And I'm mostly just doing that just to have an archive. Because when you stream right. over there, um, when you're done, you've got your VOD is there and it never goes away. So I've got yeah. four years of our game in a YouTube archive. So it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Those are memories, you know, memories yeah. that you can cherish too. And yep. a way to keep up with the friends and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping that uh, that me, you and Corpse and Kenzie can work something out there. And, and yeah. You know, if everyone's in, what I would say is maybe in a few weeks, we get going in a few weeks. That'll give me some time to set everything up. Um, you know, get you guys some instructions on how to set up your accounts and everything. And maybe we could do one little 30 minute thing where we all log in and learn how to move our tokens around and roll the dice. And then and we'll do a one shot yeah. adventure, you know, take just a, maybe three, two hours, you know, streams. Yeah. 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 I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think it would be too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Cool. So, yeah, uh, so uh, if I were interviewing you right now, I would be like, you know, have you killed a, you know, a pixelated huge deer? And, and then I guess maybe we get sitting <laughs> down. So I guess we can't, bu we can't bully ourselves, I guess. <laughs> I know. I, I kind of made that video in a, in a little bit of a way, kind of poking fun at myself, trying to make, let myself know. That's, don't take that's the way I took it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think, I think whoever saw that, see, I, the video of me taking the great one, is different than the video of me and I'm wearing a different hat and a different pair of glasses. Yeah. I think that they thought, they thought you were, that's exactly what it was. They thought the second guy was making fun of the first guy and it's both me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought that's what I think that they thought yeah. you were making fun of someone when you were just yeah. having fun with yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Too I understood too. immediately what you were it's doing. It's too bad too. Cause that was up to like 5,000 views. <laughs> I know. Like I do edit it. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get in on this, you know. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, well, co uh, coach, it's been awesome. Thanks for yeah, coming man. on. Yeah, thanks for having um, me. Thanks for doing this, Darth. Appreciate it. Yeah, man, it's it's been fun. It's been a blast, and and keep doing what you're doing, man. You're you're great for the community. Um, and I just I like to see the good, clean fun out there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, things that people can just feel safe coming and watching us you know both you know i, I pride yeah. myself in that as well yeah um plus, so you, plus you know you you know you know when we're we're in when we're in education we're head, held to kind of a standard That's and right. if any anyone from our district ever stumbles by my site i don't want it to be anything you know i wouldn't want them to see That's right. yeah i invite them i invite my co-worker you know come watch you know yeah and it's cool and yeah. it, it's a blast it's a blast yeah. and it's, it's a fun game and all of you viewers out there if you're not playing call of the wild as my buddy corpse would say what are you doing with your life what are you doing with your life yeah <laughs> and I, I get this question a lot do you hunt in real life do you hunt in real life you know not that it matters right <laughs> because whether you hunt in real life or not this game is awesome right. i know people you know like lady never hunted in real life and now she's getting ready to go no, she is life. yeah <laughs> yeah she's hunting in real life this game yeah. made her want to hunt in real life but i've hunted my I'm, as far as i can remember you know five six years old you know yeah hunting, squirrel hunting and all that so but it's it's a blast the outdoors is where it's at and uh coach you know we've got a lot in common with the sports and all that we're looking forward to march madness and i guess you're what michigan state is that michigan name? state yeah i love the spartans hey they're good at both sports football and basketball oh, yeah traditionally yeah 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 
Well, I'm going to get ready for my stream here. I think uh, you're streaming you what, at six? One. Yeah, we start up at six. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. Well, if you're on when I'm getting off, uh, maybe we raid you and get you up later. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Appreciate you, Coach. Yes, Have sir. Have a great night. Thanks, Darth. Good night, everyone.